My name is Gaylord Shad, and I've been with the Sacramento Literacy Program approximately two to two and a half months. I was screaming inside, looking for help, dying to uh, get some help because I have an issue with not being able to read and spell. I jumped for the opportunity to uh, call and get myself in. They're going to help me. My challenges were feeling slightly inadequate, and there was a lot of uh, fooling other people. So I knew I had difficulty, and my grandkids knew more than I did. So I kind of let people know that I didn't know how to read write real good. One of my jobs from 1984 as a uh, supervisor, just and I was able to train people and do my job very well. So he promoted me to managing the crew and managing the overseer oversee of the business itself. I knew I had challenges, but I would have people around me to be able to do the things that I couldn't do. If there's any paperwork to do, I say, hey man, can you do this here for me? So he would never knew, know that I couldn't read or write very well. Some people knew I had difficulties reading and writing, and some people didn't, but it was our secret. My hope for my future is to be able to drive down the street, be able to read the reading signs, have someone give me a book, being able to read it, and not having to be able to have material in front of me and not knowing exactly what it says. For better clarity of everything in life and be able to operate a computer with no problem. I would tell another adult or anyone that has trouble in reading or spelling or comprehension of what they're reading that the literacy program has brought me to the point in my life that I am able to put the shame or the embarrassment behind me. But the main thing is to take your pride, put it down, lay it down, because it's you and your life and your future and your kid's future that you are dealing with, regardless of how old you may be, without knowing how to read, without knowing how to write properly. It is a world that is very small, and sometimes you have to put your pride in your back pocket so other people can do the same thing and they will be able to understand you and that real person who you really are comes out on you when your pride is put down. That wall that blocks a lot of things of who you are and what you are and all you can be, that wall is tore down and you can be really be who you want to be in life and be more happier and prosperous. I'm Diane Sanford and I found the, started in the Sacramento Literacy Program in October 2000 and I um, was in a similar literacy program in Seattle and so when I moved down here I wanted to be in another literacy program. I'm a reader so reading is really important to me but I had struggles learning to read when I was in grade school. Oh I have learned patience and I've learned um, that everybody has strengths and you need to find those strengths and work with them. Um, I've met a number of the literacy tutors and they're all incredibly gracious, patient, kind. They, um, they aren't the kind of people that would make fun of you or ridicule you. They want you to learn. They're there because they want you to learn and they're going to do whatever it takes so that you can learn. In 2000, I was diagnosed with kidney disease and so I was on dialysis until 2006. And in 2006, my best friend took me out to lunch and she said, if you were healthier, what would you do? And I said, oh, I would get involved in literacy. And she asked me why, and I told her why it's so important to me because when I was sick, reading was my lifeline. And so I told her that if I was healthier, I would get involved in literacy. Well, little did I know that she had already applied to be a kidney donor for me. And so she became my kidney donor, and as soon as I was healthy enough, that's when I started volunteering in literacy. Uh, Mr. Shad and I have worked together since September, is that right? And um, his strengths are that he's an incredibly hard worker, and he's very determined. I see Mr. Shad using a computer and reading street signs 
and um, reading it to his grandchildren. I also see him getting his GED. First of all, you have to take the pride of what you can't do and what you want to do, and you have to separate them. Not being able to read and spell as well as I would like to. It was really important to me that people be able to read. Reading was my lifeline. Be able to operate a computer with no problem. I see Mr. Shad using a computer. And sometimes you have to put your pride in your back pockets.